Hello, I'm Spiro Skidopoulos. And I'm Cooper Schoenberg. Welcome to Fast Five, produced by the Indiana University Media School. Start your timers because our five minutes have begun. It was a packed weekend in Bloomington for the football team as Pat McAfee and the college game day crew were here to see the Hoosiers take on Washington at Memorial Stadium. Fast Five's Callum Kelly has the recap. Thanks, guys. Here in Bloomington, the Indiana Hoosiers continue their historic run, extending their unbeaten streak to 8-0 after a hard-fought 31-17 victory over Washington. Coach Kurt Signetti praises his team's resilience, noting how championship teams find ways to win, even when things don't go perfectly. And that's exactly what the Hoosiers did. Indiana's offense faced challenges without star quarterback Curtis Rourke sidelined with an injury, but redshirt sophomore Taven Jackson stepped in but leaned heavily on the ground game. Running back Justice Ellison stepped up with 123 yards and a touchdown, grinding through Washington's defense to control the game. Meanwhile, the defense made big plays to shift momentum. Sophomore quarterback D'Angelo Pons electrified the crowd with two interceptions, including a 67-yard pick six in the first quarter. I told the team after the game, I said really good teams, championship teams, they find ways to win games. And that's what we did today. We found ways to win a game. Indiana football is now 8-0 for the first time since 1967. Guys. Thanks, Callum. With the win, the Hoosiers are now the first FBS team since the 1998 Kansas State Wildcats to start 8-0 without trailing in a single game. In the AP poll, IU will stay at 13th, but this week they are in front of Alabama and behind Clemson and Iowa State. The Hoosiers travel to East Lansing to take on the Michigan State Spartans November 2nd. Death, taxes, and Yeagley in October proved to be true last Friday as the men's soccer team flew to Los Angeles to play number 15 UCLA. The Hoosiers would look to keep things moving as they came into this game winners of four straight. Justin Weiss would score his fourth goal in just three games as he would get behind the defense and put the Hoosiers on the board first in the 25th minute. Then it was Samuel Sarver in the 60th minute who would fly down the field to put IU up by two. However, the Bruins would not go down without a fight as UCLA would score one of their own. But the late push ultimately wouldn't be enough and IU would win two to one. The Hoosiers now move to eight, three and five on the year and six, one and two in Big Ten play. IU will take on the Northwestern Wildcats this Tuesday as they prepare for the end of their season. The Indiana volleyball team got swept against number eight Wisconsin Badgers last Thursday in Bloomington. They look to put the loss in the past as they head to Northwestern on Sunday. Cameron Hayworth and Avery Tatum returned from injury to play in the game as it was much needed as the Hoosiers were losers of five straight matches. In the first, IU would try and break away. However, Northwestern would keep it close, tying the set at 22. But the Hoosiers would get the last laugh, winning the set 25 to 22. In the second, it was Candela Alonzo Corcellas and Maddie Sell who would lead the way as it would be more of the same. Another close set with IU pulling away at the end, 25 to 21. And in the third, Indiana would start off hot and never look back, winning the set comfortably, 25 to 20. So obviously we've played uh, a really tough schedule. Um, I thought we competed like crazy against Wisconsin. I thought tonight we were real good, real good from 20 to 25, and then clinical at the end when we needed to be at, at certain times. So, you know. Basketball has returned to Indiana as the Hoosiers would drive down to Knoxville to take on the Tennessee Volunteers in an exhibition match. It would be a rough shooting night for both teams, shooting a combined 12 for 54 from three. Malik Renau would lead the Hoosiers in scoring, putting up 21 points and eight rebounds. Washington State transfer Miles Rice would get his Hoosier career started off on the right foot, getting 20 of his own, and would help lead IU to a 66-62 victory. The Hoosiers have another exhibition game against Marion on Friday at Assembly Hall. The men's wrestling team had their annual wrestle-offs at Assembly Hall last Friday. While there were no matches at the 125, 184, and 285 weight classes, there was still plenty of action. Henry Porter won his match in overtime at 141. Bryce Lowry won by decision at 157. Gabe Sollers won his match in dominant fashion, tech falling his opponent at 197. Anthony Ball won his major decision at 149. And Angelo Rini at 133, Nick South at 174, and Tyler Lillard at 165 all won their matches by decision. Indiana will start their season in Riverside, California on Friday as they take on Cal Baptist. 
And with that, our five minutes are up. I'm Cooper Schoenberg. And I'm Spiros Skidopoulos. Make sure to catch us on Wednesday for a preview of all of your Hoosier sports. And be sure to follow us on all of our socials. And thank you for joining us.